Hello YouTube, uh, Troy of Guy here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, fit the Aqua Spark ignition um, to your Spitfire. Um, just so you're aware, it's just an installation guide. Um, I did get it fitted. It was working for about 15, 20 minutes whilst I was adjusting the timing. Um, just so you're aware, with this particular kit, the timing was completely out. Um, I, the car was running fine um, before uh, with the points. I was, I was going to work um, in it, which is 50 miles there, 50 miles back. Um, and it was absolutely fine. You know what they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, however, I obviously didn't follow that. Uh, but yeah, this is just a guide on how to fit it. Um, like I said, it was um, it was working for about 10, 15 minutes whilst I was whilst I was adjusting time and then it died. I've heard a few people say that um, this, is, this happens um, sometimes um, and they basically get a new one sent out and free of charge, they're pretty good apparently. Uh, so I'll let you know uh, in a later video or in the comment section if I if I had such luck. Uh, also, uh, please be aware I, I forgot to add the neg the the earth um, back in uh, in the, inside the distributor cap. So you'll see a little black wire. Just don't do that, and then make sure that you um, refit that. But anyway, uh, let's get back to it. Make sure you have got a negative earth. So follow this all the way down. Make sure it's just chassis or in my case the engine. Okay, so that's important. And then you're just going to click these off like so. Just take the distributor cap off. Before you start any of this, obviously make sure your timing is bang on. Um, and then we'll re readjust as we go. Next, take this off. Then we're gonna undo this. Screw here, this screw here. And we're gonna take these, this electric connector off as well. Now that's removed, just take the points out. Like so, just a little screwdriver underneath. And they should just pull out. And the electrical connector should come out as well. Yeah, sweet. I'm going to keep hold of these just in case anything goes wrong. Oh, he says. Get that in a minute. Now that's off. We're just going to take this old electrical connector off and screw it from there. Next, we're going to clean uh, this service here. Yeah. Um, make sure it's nice and clean. And then what you're going to do is you're going to apply this stuff. And then you're going to put the actual the unit on itself. So now you can see it's in place, obviously I have a bit of spillage, but I'll try and wipe that up. Um, what I'm gonna do next is bring this round and put this over so it goes in like that. And now I'm just gonna tighten up the cables, keep it nice and out of the way. So as you can see, negative's on and the positive's on. It's in place, the magnetic ring. I'm just going to place it on now. Sweet, now what we're going to do is put the rotor arm on, obviously line up that with this bit, like so. Now it's time to put the distribute back on, vacuum hose back on, and then we'll see how we did. If it doesn't work, then I can't get to work tomorrow. So, moment of truth. It's definitely I'm um, getting sparked, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to adjust the um, ignition timing. I think it might have been slightly out, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll let you know in the comments um, how I got on in the end and how, how good this uh, modification actually is.